and the winner is First of all, we have a double congratulations in order. Winner of the circle plus you're expecting. Yes, yes. right here. Big old belly. <laughs> How far along are you? Um, oh, I'm horrible with counting, but I'm due in a month and a half. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. So when did you find out? Were you filming the circle? Yeah. So I found out while I was in the apartment. Um, I, you know, when you're a woman, you just know your body. So mm -hmm. like, I was, just, I, was, I was getting all the symptoms that I was getting when I was pregnant with my daughter. And um, I just kept trying to like push it back. And then I just mentioned this to the producer. I'm like, you know, one of the producers, I was like, you know, I think I might be pregnant. And they're like, oh, do you want to take a test? I'm like, no. <laughs> so um, they asked me a few times and I actually, I kept saying no, but after a while I feel like, um, I just got the sense that it was like a health reason that they wanted to make sure that I was okay. Um, so I wound up taking a test. I found out I was pregnant and I held on to that. I didn't tell him. <laughs> so you didn't know. No, no, I had no clue at yeah. all. So you win, you get home, and then you tell. Well, I told him at the finale. They didn't they didn't show it, but I, I wound up telling him um, when we were on the FaceTime. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. really? Major bombshell. <laughs> like, like my, my mind was completely blown at that point. I'm coming home with $100,000 and a baby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How has it been? You you won the show also. So how has it been watching it back? You, have you watched all the episodes back at this point? Oh, definitely, for sure. Definitely watched it back. Cried the tears again. <laughs> oh, my heart was pounding again. I just basically relived the moment. It was, um, it was incredible to watch me in that experience and then also know what the rest of the cast was thinking and doing at the same time and I was talking to them. Um, it's just so funny and nostalgic. And Trevor, what's it like for you watching Delisa be you on the show? Uh, it was it's definitely weird. One, because they, they keep calling her Trevor, obviously. Uh, you know, so I'm sitting there watching it and I'm like, it, it was just, it's really bizarre to, to see my face, have her portray, portray me and not actually be there. So it was definitely a little weird for me, but I think she did a great job. Uh, you know, there was a couple times where I was just like, oh, babe, no, 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 no. You know, even though you know the end result, uh, it didn't change the fact that you got to sit there and watch every single episode and go through it. So all that, all the stress and, and things that other people felt, I felt as well, even though I knew. It didn't really matter. Yeah. What was your babe no, 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 no moment? <laughs> uh, the big one was the mannequin challenge. That I was like, oh, you got to throw this. Like this, you have to just mail this in. Like they're going to know you're oh, you're not a guy if you do this too well. And I know how my, work, my wife feels about makeup. So I was like, she's gonna be super excited to do this. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. And she tr she's so good at it that she did. She tried to do a bad job and it still came out good. Thank like, no, goodness I'm for not. Jack, AKA Emily in that challenge because exactly. all the attention went to that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, Trevor, I have to know how you feel about um, the fact that you both are dating <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> That's our girlfriend. <laughs> she's oh, part man. of this marriage. Yeah, <laughs> apparently she's just, she's been welcomed into this marriage uh, <laughs> completely unbeknownst to me. But, you know, it's, um again, really bizarre to see, you know, my wife flirt as a guy. <laughs> um, but you know what? She did what she had to do. And I mean, like, you know, she was, she was drinking the sauce. So again, like, that's kudos. You know right? <laughs> kudos to her gameplay. Because I was like, I really hope she does not have to flirt as a guy. Um, but you pulled it off. I'm proud of you. Good job. Thank you. Chloe wasn't as heartbroken as people may think. <laughs> That's a good one. That's yeah, because a, yeah, a lot of people think that Chloe is so upset, like that she fell in love with Trevor and stuff like that. And, you know, she's, we're definitely friends. <laughs> um, we were on video chat yesterday. Um, we video chat, we talk, we talk all the time um, when we can, cause she's far away. Um, and we're definitely gonna have her meet him one day. Can't wait for that. That's not awkward. <laughs> That's not awkward at all. <laughs> I feel like I might be the most uncomfortable out of the three. Probably. <laughs> at this point. That would, well, maybe Chloe would be. You think so? 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be um, interesting. <laughs> and he chatted with Mitchell, so like that's pretty cool too. Yeah. They have this whole bromance thing going on. Oh my on. god, I love the guy. Adorable. Love him. <laughs> love him. The blessing and the curse of the sh of winning is you have to be away the longest. How long were you away from from home, and how difficult was that? Oh, um, it was a long time. <laughs> um, any, I feel like it was like four to six weeks, probably somewhere in the middle for sure. Um, it was very difficult, you know, in the beginning, I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, I'm a mom 24 seven and I was with my daughter every day, all day. Um, and it felt really cool to get like a little break, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I'm like, oh, silence. So, um, that was fun. But then after a while, obviously, like, I really missed my daughter. I really missed him. Um, you know, I had that pillow, so like I would hug it and, you know, sometimes I would cry at night. I'm happy they didn't show that because dang, I cried so many times on that, <laughs> that show. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was very difficult. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was pretty hard. Um, but I, it gave me the motivation to do what I had to do and work very hard for it. And Trevor, what was that like for you having her away uh, for so long? You know, like when she first left, I was petrified. You know, like we dropped off at the airport and I looked at my daughter and I was like, all right, kid, it's me and you for the foreseeable future. Um, and you know, Delisa was home with her every single day, you know, since the day she was born. Uh, so I was like, man, it's all me. Like if something goes wrong, that's on me. Uh, but you know what? It was really cool because it gave my daughter and I time to bond, time mm -hmm. that we never would have naturally had had Delisa been there. So I think our relationship in that point in time was like, it, it was exactly what we needed. Uh, so I'm fortunate for it. I mean, I miss Delisa every single day. I know Tony missed her, but it was it was really cool to get to spend so much alone time with Tony because it, it would have, I think in the, in the normal world, would have never happened. Do you still have the pillow? Yeah, you wanna see it? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> yeah. I actually like cuddle with it at night. It was so cute. Just like every time she was like sitting on the couch, just like hugging the pillow. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> I will say that I haven't, I mean, I watched last season, this season. I've never cried watching The Circle until I was watching like that finale episode. I was just like, oh, <laughs> um, sorry. I'm getting so many comments about that. People were sending me videos of themselves with like tears, like coming down their face. People were cheering for me. Like, I've never, I mean, I don't know. I've never seen that type of excitement on like any other yeah. show. So it just, it was an incredible feeling. Like watching those videos back, I'm like, wow, people really like resonated with my story. You know what I mean? Like, and it's real. It's not like it's fake. It's, it's this is who I am. This is who we are. Like as a family, we needed it and we got it. And um, people really connected to that and much more than I thought that they would. Yeah, because I, I mean, I think it's so hard when people catfish a lot of times they're like trying to literally be another person. And I felt like you were just you. You just kind of had to like maleify yourself a little bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I got um actually a lot of people still are mad at the fact that I was a catfish and it's like it's a game. Like, come on, get over it. I did what I had to do. <laughs> I still can't imagine going in as myself. And a lot of people, they say that to me. They're like, no, you would. I wish you would have went in as yourself. Like you definitely would have made it to the end. And I, I don't agree with that. I still don't agree with that. I don't think so. Trevor, how did you feel when Delisa said, "I'm gonna catfish as you"? I was a great idea, <laughs> fantastic idea. Selfishly, I'm like, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I, who doesn't want their their face out there? But in the bigger picture, uh, I thought it'd be really smart in the sense that you know it's tough as a woman. You know, like it can be really cutthroat. Uh, the game works very differently for for males and females. So, yeah. uh, you know, I thought like it's it's a really really good strategy for her to go in as me. I think you know I can be seen as not so much of a threat. I'm like that nice guy. Basically, exactly what she portrayed me to be was how I was hoping I'd be received. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think my wife did a fantastic job, but I can most definitely do better. Like <laughs> we are, we're the we're two of the most competitive people that you ever want to meet. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, we'll true. find anything around the house to compete over. Uh, so this is just fitting. Like I, I, I most definitely think I was really critical for game. Uh, I'm pretty positive I can do an even better job. He's really nice in public, but behind the scenes, he's just like, why would you say that? Why did you do this? Like What's you've never heard on? me say why that you ever. That? Why would you yeah. say that? Um, and it's all, it's all fun and love, obviously. Um, but yeah, he thinks he could do a better job. I know I can do a better job. But we all know the truth, you know? <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, you have the title, so <laughs> thank you. Thank for you. Now. For now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> you talked about what you were going to do with the money on the show, but now, now you have, you know, an unexpected visitor. So has, has the plan changed? What are you doing with the money? No, um, we, we use it for a down payment. We're in our house right now. <laughs> Absolutely, for sure. Um, the only thing that changed was that Chanel bag that I'm uh, probably never going to get. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just, I feel like we're adults now and I, there's more important things to life than material things like Chanel bag or red bottoms and all of that stuff. Yeah, definitely. So um, put some money away and um, that's it. It's just all about our family now. That's it. Trevor, the look on your face is telling me you're getting her the Chanel bag though. Are you? Good? Never know. <laughs> it's like in a couple of days. Then <laughs> <laughs> I have to do it now. What? You have to do it. Like you have to do it now. Like, but there's like, you know, we got, there's like a lot of occasions. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. <laughs> need the what is it the the baby moon gift or the what's it called? Oh yes, the push present. Yeah, present. push present. Yeah, you didn't get me one last time. I, we I have broke. to get two. Yeah, we we yeah, were broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had together as a family. Like even now, it's just such an amazing experience. Um, we feel really blessed and grateful. And thank you to everybody who um, took care of us and take taking care of us right now um still because the love is still there yeah. netflix is showing so much love um oh, it's just amazing it's just a, a crazy journey and it ride. is it is it's a really surreal experience mm -hmm. you know and, and one i'm forever grateful for let's plug the stuff where if people want to see more stuff from you where where can we find you absolutely people are super invested in our family which i mean it's so shocking shocking because it's yeah. just our regular life yeah it's all playing life yeah um we have youtube so the saints family on youtube um we have videos going back to 2017 i think oh 2018 yeah before yeah. we got married that whole process of getting married our labor and delivery pranks and vlogs and just like us being it like you name it parents and having fun with each other um and you can find us on instagram at least unique trev saint trev underscore saint and uh, we also have a family page uh it's the saints and our little girls on instagram too because you know we have to make her a star as well <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, tony p-o-n-i dot abella a-b-e-l-l-a -L -L -A. and of course that page is solely dedicated to her because mm. um you know i want her to grow up and look back on these videos and pictures and like, wow, like this is my life, you yeah, know, because exactly. I don't have, do you have pictures no, or videos? Like, no. Yeah, I don't really have. You know, it's a different world now. Like that she's going to be able to look back and be like, oh, look how much fun I have with my parents. And like, oh, I'm just so excited yeah. for that. Yeah. And for other people to be able to watch her grow, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. As well. Yeah, definitely. Um, For sure. I mean, I'm a mompreneur. I'm working hard. I have a lot of things. <laughs> She I does not so many stop people. working. No, no, seriously. All. Like I probably get um, as a pregnant woman, how many hours of sleep do I get? Like what, five. Yeah, six, five, six. Yeah, yeah. five, six. Um, I'm sure. I'm my woman's online boutique, the unique shop at the Oh my god! <laughs> like we're gonna see you on like Shark Tank next season. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe. I have a lot of things going on, um, and I don't plan on stopping. And hopefully, um, you know, people really like us and. Maybe one day, you never know. You'll see, see us on your screen again. You <laughs> um, but but my main focus is really like creating generational wealth for our daughters and um, just family members to come and just making sure like we're we're good, we're comfortable, we're stable so that nobody ever has to be in the position that we felt we were in. Yeah.